And we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to recreate kind of a Mr. Robot glitch effect. I found this image on Pixabay. You will get it with the link in the description below. And this is the basic effect that we want to recreate. You will find the font for that via the description link as well. It's free for personal use so we can use it. And this is the image on Pixabay that I was talking about. Let's start. We've got our new image opened and copied by pressing Ctrl J. And now I'll select the model with the quick selection tool. I'm going to speed this process up a little bit, but I've got an in-depth video about how to select models in Photoshop in the description as well. So when you're done, give it a layer mask, increase the radius a little bit and go over some edges with the Refine Edge Brush Tool. When you're done, click on OK. In this case, we need to go over some areas with the Brush Tool as well. Make sure you paint on your layer mask, activate the Brush Tool and use a white foreground color to reveal a black to conceal. And I'm going over these edges and make the selection a bit better. So now that looks good. We're going to copy what we've done here once. And now I'll create a new layer beneath it that I'll call background. And I'll make it white. Next thing we want to do is get to your top layer and then apply the layer mask. So right click on the layer mask and apply it. Then right click blending options and there you find the channels. Get rid of the red one. Click on OK. Now we use the move tool and move the layer a little bit to the side. And now we have the basic 3D effect that we need for a glitch. I'm going to crop the canvas and the layers a little bit. It looks fine. What we now need is to create these little glitches. We we'll use the rectangular marquee tool or simply click M to make selections and the move tool simply click V to select it and then move these selections to the side. The process is repeated a couple of times. The more of these glitches you do, the more it looks like the original. I came up with this one. Now I'll put the original here. I want to use the same color and then I'll create a solid color adjustment layer. But let me put it below the original so that I can select the color. That's good. I'll delete the original and then I decrease the opacity of the adjustment layer. Let me put it right beneath our original copy 2 layer. So above our model selection. And I think that this opacity looks good. Now I'll create a new layer for our text. It simply says Mr. Robot in this case. It's the font that I have shown you at the beginning of the video. It's simply called Mr. Robot font. Where is it exactly? Let me search for it. And there it is. When you've typed it in, we need to give it a new color. Maybe I use that red color from our 3D effect. Mm. 
Then press Ctrl T, transform it, hold Shift to rotate it properly. And then reposition it. Make it a bit bigger or smaller so that it fits the side. And we're done. This is the basic effect. Of course, the more time you put into these little glitches, the better the results will look. You can even put a texture on top of it with a blending mode that fits it. But this is how it's done. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.